you're the fastest qualifier. You get, figure you have an X on your back, X, uh, you know, a target on your back, and, and uh, you feeling some pressure that way? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess target on my back, but no, no pressure. I think it's just one race at a time, and um, I know I know where I'm at, and I know what I can do. So I think just go in there and run my race, and I think I'll be fine. So. What did you think when you saw the field and all those other guys chose to do different events? I mean, did you feel like it's opened it up a little bit more? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. Um, I think uh, all I was really focused on is qualifying and then running my, like, once I get there, just do my thing, I think. Yeah, it's interesting to see uh, the amount of people that scratched, but uh, I think we're prepared for anything, so. Yeah. Ed's a guy who goes into pretty much every race sort of expected to win. Can you learn anything from the way he handles himself and sort of deals with that? Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, definitely. I think Ed, uh, he'll tell, he'll get, he gets nervous too, so I think he's human. I think just seeing that, it definitely um, calms me down a little bit, and I think knowing that I've done so many workouts with him, I think it also um, helps me prepare for uh, the nerves and expectations that are going to come with uh, being a favorite or just competing for Oregon, honestly. You guys have going for your third straight title. How significant was it for you to get that DMR qualified? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a big deal. I think, uh, I think it's, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to say make or break, but I think it's it's going to be pretty crucial, I think. So hopefully um, we can get some points there and uh, everyone else can get some points in all our other events. So I think, I think it's a big deal. Yeah. It's been good to see Sam back running well again. I know you went through some trials and tribulations the last season. Yeah, I mean, he, he turned it around towards the end. We all knew he was, like, we all knew he was fine. He's such a good, he's such a great athlete, I think. <clears throat> I've been training with him a lot this winter, and I think he's just, he's a model, uh, he's a model training partner. I think he's, he's a great guy, so i um, really happy he's running well and uh, expecting him to do really well in Nationals. Was it fun watching him run that final <clears throat> leg? Oh, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was, uh, it was kind of hard to tell where we were at, like, time-wise, and, uh, relative to qualifying so yeah it was a lot of nerves watching him run but I think uh, I had confidence in him and he definitely had confidence in himself so I think he uh, yeah, he ran a great leg it was really impressive. Time going in or would you prefer not? Uh, I don't it doesn't really matter to me I think I'm gonna run we're gonna make a plan that's best suited for me regardless of um, what I'm ranked so I think that's just gonna be the mentality I have going in to the meet. Anything else for Blake? Thanks Blake. Thanks. Thanks.